morning. So we're going to do another sub D versus uh, NURBS or uh, sweep modeling, I guess you want to call it. So we found this image on the internet. I've just imported the picture, cropped it a little bit, and I'm about to lock it. I also made it slightly transparent. Okay, so there are a couple of ways to do this. You can look at, um, I mean, literally, you could just draw out a curve, pipe it, draw out some more curves, do a variable pipe, and then squish them flat. That's a pretty fast workflow, so let's let's consider that one. Um, I'm just going to grab an interp curve and I'm going to start drawing out kind of through the center of this one. Of course, remember, Rhino does have the spiral command if you're wanting to draw this with a pure spiral. Okay, uh, let's just straighten that out a little bit, I think. Okay, there's such a thing as too many points. Okay, uh, I might fare that curve a little bit. Uh, all right. Ooh, too much. The fair to a tolerance of 0.1. All right. Hit that a few times, it'll even it out. Okay, so you can, I guess you could also use multi-pipe here um, and then play with sub-D, but let, let's, con let's consider finishing this way first. So we're going to do a pipe for now. Uh, whoops, see. We're going to do a pipe for now with the start radius uh, about that and an end radius about that. And then we're going to put a new radius, a fat radius over here, like so. Uh, looks about right. Is that it? It kind of stays fat all the way through the middle, so I'm going to put a, another radius here. Okay, so there you've got your first, your first little section. Okay, so it's not great. It could be better. I mean, you could have put a few, uh, you could have put a few more items through here. Of course, you can. Also have done this with a sweep and around profile, but you know we started this way, so let's complete it. So I'm going to grab an interp curve through there, and I'm gonna kind of go through here. And I mean, you can also copy and paste this. I'm not going to complete it this way the whole way. I'm just going to show you that I mean this is a valid, it is a valid workflow. Right? So same deal, you can do a pipe over here. The pipe on this side is a bit fatter. You're going to have to squeeze it in 1D a bit. Um, and then the same deal here. You're going from fat to pretty thin over there. And same deal here. Okay, so, so to make those work, I guess, in your side view, you're going to have to squeeze these in. So scale them kind of like that. You can control Control Shift to grab just that edge and rotate it, get it to work inside the inside the pipe like that, and of course scale it a little bit smaller so it's in. All right, so not uh, not an invalid workflow. This is certainly one way to do it. Uh, you could extrude mesh. There's a whole there's a whole lot of different ways you can do it. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try start the same way we did before. Uh, then convert to a sub D, or alternatively, we can just map out a sub D. All right. Um, <clears throat> hmm. All right. So let's 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 map out a sub D. I think that that's the way I want to go with this one. So you can, to keep it short work, you can draw a line. I'm going to use the actual line command, right? So you draw a line across your diameters every so often. So I'm going to draw one there, there. There, 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 there. What I'm doing to make this fast is I'm just hitting enter to restart the line command and then placing out another line where I can in between the in between the sections. So because we're doing sub D we're gonna we're gonna wanna Make sure that our sub D has the correct amount of uh, faces to allow us to extrude for the balance of the sun. Okay, so you can kind of see I'm working my right, my way around where I'm going to have to extrude faces. And we're going to 
keep working our way through there. So here it's just a question of completing the spiral. You, I mean, really, you could have also just done a, um, a, 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 a curve here, done a pipe on it, and converted the pipe to a sub-D. Okay, so now I'm going to sub-D loft. Um, I'll make another one in here. We're good. I think we're good everywhere. All right, so I'm going to do a sub-D loft now. So if we go through the sub-D tools, All right, you can see there is, I think it's that guy, create a sub-D loft. Try to grab from the bottom of each of your curves, work your way through, it is directional, it'll loft to where you grab the curve, all right, so if you suddenly grab on the wrong side of the curve, you'd have a problem. And we're going to work our way around. And there, and then we get into it and we're done. All right, so it creates that, um, so it's created the kind of the loft for us, adjust the shapes, increase this closed, I'm good. Um, divisions between the shapes, no, I'm good with that as well. So we're going to go, okay. All right, um, I'm gonna go sell curve. I can dump the curves, I don't need them anymore. All right, and then we can straighten this out a bit, but I think that we should probably first start our, um, our extrusion because these faces that we're going to come out on the bottom, they're not on the top. I'll explain what I mean as we go along. So if I just shade this from out, I'm going to grab this entire thing. I'm going to extrude it once, uh, maybe once like there. And then I'm going to extrude it a second time like that. All right, because the faces we're going to bring out for the balance of the sun are going to be these ones, All right? The bottom ones are there. Um, okay, so can I see them? So we're going to pull these faces out. All right, so I'm going to grab down the bottom here. Let's see what happens when I go to uh, face mode. I grab those two faces together. And remember, I'm going to set the gumball to align to objects. So I'm extruding straight out in that direction. Is that going to give me the shape I want? No, it's not. So we're going to have Control Z. So definitely, we want to grab just that face. All right. I'm going to extrude it out. Yeah, that's what we're after. All right, so let's have a look at the bottom hasn't quite worked the way I wanted to at the bottom. I would have preferred it didn't have that face there, but I mean, look, it is where we are, so let's keep going. So I want to turn that face a little bit like that, extrude it again, move it around, turn it a bit, and then extrude it again. Bring it down, I'm going to make it a ghosted mode so we can see what we're doing. Um, oops, and then turn it around and then extrude it again. And probably scale this a little bit smaller now. Oopsie and then kind of move it up to there. All right, remembering that you just want to, you can be pretty, you can be pretty um, relaxed about this at the moment, because remembering that it is sub-D and you can come in and you can fix it up afterwards, all right? So you're going to work your way around these these items until you kind of get the shape that you need, all right? Um, we're, we're, we're there somewhere, something like that. All right, so. Then I'm going to speed up the rest of this video because it's going to be boring as hell to watch this. All right. Something like that. All right, so there's your first one out. I believe that we should probably bring that in a little bit. Oopsie, bring it in a little bit like that, yeah. And this one out a little bit like that. Okay, so now we've got to grab the faces. All right, so we've got the first little sun leg out. We're going to pull out the rest of them, we're going to work our way around, and we're going to try to straighten up this thing as we're going through. So over here you can see that all of these need to come a little bit like that. And all of that needs to come a little bit down here like that. And then that has to come in a little bit. All right, so as you go along, kind of smooth out if you can. Uh, this area here, this area here, we're going to bring it back in. All right, let's go grab back our face. We've got middle click, we've got a face mode. Remember we set this up in the last lesson. So the next face is here. I'm just going to highlight that because I don't want that one. I want that face. All right, so that face we're going to extrude. We're going to move it over a little bit like that. And extrude it again. I'm going to rotate it so we can start going in that direction. And extrude it again. Uh, 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 extrude the ball. Thank you. Uh, scale it in. And extrude it one more time. And come out in that direction, so something like that. 
I think we're okay there. Then let's grab the next face, which I think is here. It's going to be that one, right? Yeah. So I'm going to extrude that once and scale it in. And then extrude it a second time out there and scale it in a bit. All right, then we're going to move on to the next one, which I think is going to be... And yeah, that's the very next face, so that one. Right, and we extrude out, we move, we rotate a little bit. And we extrude the next one. So this is getting boring. You can fast forward. It's going to take a while. Uh, you know, while it is a very powerful tool, sometimes it can be a, a little tedious uh, drawing it out. However, the end result generally speaks volumes. It, it's a much better end result each time I've well, each time I've used this tool anyway. All right. So I feel like we've got too many. We need to get rid of this over here. So I'm going to go to edge mode. I've created too many. I'm going to grab that edge loop and I'm going to delete it so that our next face also becomes the next extraction. So we're going to go to face mode quickly. We're going to grab that face and we're going to do the next one. All right, so we're going to extrude it, scale it in, rotate it a little bit because we're going that direction. Let's move it there and then extrude it a second time and pinch that in. All right. Um, all right, I'm going to just quickly start cleaning up the ones we got. Uh, we are in ghosted mode. I'm going to go to wireframe mode. Uh, I think we're pretty much okay. I see those probably. Let's go to edge mode. Uh, how am I going to do this? I'm not going to do it like that. Ghost it like that, I guess. Let's have a look. We're there. We're there. Oh, we're good there. I think that these probably want to come in a little bit like that. Move these out the way and see where we were. Ah, so pretty much we're okay with that one. I think those points had to come out a little bit over there. You guys, mm, pretty much we're okay. All right, so I think we're okay there. Then we're going to move on to the next one. All right, so the next face is literally the very next face. So middle click, get face mode, grab that guy. All right, and. Extrude for the next one, rotate around a little bit, and extrude for the last one. Alright, and grab that face and just move it this way a little bit and grab that face. And I try to do this on the fly if I can. Uh, it is a it's a fun way to model. I, I, I really do, I've got to say that I do enjoy uh, I do enjoy sub D modeling. It can be a little cathartic. Sorry you've got to listen to me droning, but you know, say something to make the boring not make the video not quite as boring. All right, grab you that way. All right, next face is down there. Can I grab it? Yes, I can. And rotate it again and extrude it again. Extrude it again and rotate it again and extrude it one last time. So that face, I'm going to move over there, let's go a little bit, you go in there. Something like that, doesn't look right, we'll come back after and fix it. Alright, so the next face. I can't see here. It's the next little one over there. Is that right? Yep. And we just work, keep working our way around. We're not too much further to go now. Um, pull it out. Rotate. Move. Is down here. It's highlighting the top one so I can find it. Oops. OK, 
come back and clean it up properly a little later. Alright, so the next face we want is down here to this one. Yeah, this looks a bit wobbly here. We'll work on go to the Y mode later and we'll just fix it all up. That's the beauty of Subli, it's just super duper simple to do stuff like that after the fact. Face we're after is the one under here. So you. That was not good. Uh, anyway, sorry, I hit the microphone there. This one's going to be a little easier, a short one. And I think mm -hmm. that's our last one. So now let's start working on cleaning up the shape of it. Um, I think we can go to edge mode at the moment. So we're kind of kind of okay here. This looks like it could be a bit smoother. This looks okay to me. I'm going to go to edge mode, uh, vertex mode. We have my vertex. There we go. Now grab that vertex and just pull it back here. Looks okay, that looks okay, that looks okay, this looks a bit not okay. So I'll grab those guys and just shift you around like that. See this here, you've got like kind of a kink going on, so I'm gonna grab those edges and just move them around so you can get something smoother. Same here. Right here. This is not pretty here. Something is not okay here. Not enough edges or something's happening here. So I'm really not happy with this. Uh, I just keep stretching it out a bit backwards this way. That's better. All right, so then here, like that, mm, here. All right, so the outside edges want to be a bit bigger. Let's grab them. Okay, so oopsie. There, I think these need to come tighter. All of those kind of move over there. All right, we're good there. Want to bring that one in sharper a little bit. Go 
put there. right. Doesn't feel okay. Maybe the original design wasn't great, so I'm just going to add lib a little bit. You've got to come to a sharper point. You've got to come in a little bit like that. Come out a little bit. Ooh, this is really bad. Straighten that face out, I think. We're going to delete the, the bottom faces out of this and straighten it all up a little bit later. So this is just to get the basic shape for now. Um, I think that's okay. I think that one's okay. We've just got to come in a little bit. Because when we did this extrusion, the face created a, created a bottom face as well, which we don't want. We're going to duplicate this to make both sides the same. Okay, so we already came through here. All right, so then just look back at it a little and go like, you know, where doesn't look right? So this doesn't look, this doesn't look great. I know that we followed the original design, but it's, um, it's not great. I don't like it. I feel like this has to come down, down. That has to come down. It just doesn't look even. It looks lumpy. Always remember to just zoom back a little and have a look. So this comes around doesn't look great either. So just a little bit like that. All right, we can look at putting. We'll put in a little toroid or something here. I'm assuming there's meant to be a stone set in there. Okay, so for now let's get the other side of the sky right. I think we're pretty much okay where we want to be here. So we've got the problem that underneath you have a bunch of faces that you don't want anymore. So I'm going to unlock that background. select filter off uh, delete that for now all right so we got this problem that we have these bottom faces here so I'm going to go to face mode uh, try to grab oh I got them all over to show you haven't I so we're going to grab everything underneath halfway if we can so I'm going to go to face mode and just pull these faces down make sure we get everything let's have a look I think we be alright Okay, so we want to grab all the faces underneath halfway like that. Let's make sure we've got them all. Ah, we've got one more over here. And we want to delete them. Okay, so then we've got to get all the points, all the vertexes onto, uh, onto the ground plane. So I'm going to just grab that face and move it up a little bit. That's not in our way. Uh, yeah, something really funky going on there. All right, so now we're going to go to uh, uh, vertex selection mode. We're going to grab all the vertexes underneath here. Make sure we've got them all. Mm, looks like it. Okay. Um, then we're going to set point. We want to set Z. So we're going to undo X and Y. And you can now set them back to zero, and so your bottom is dead flat now. Okay. One quick look at your top to make sure you haven't ruined anything too much. It looks like do a bit of work. Okay. Now we can mirror this. So now we're going to go to our face mode again. And grab all. Uh, well, actually, we can actually turn the filter off and grab this guy. We can mirror over zero to there. Okay. We're going to grab our edges. Because we want to do a weld, so we're going to weld our two edges together. Uh, where is the weld? Weld, weld, weld. Oh, that's right. They don't call it weld in this stitch. Stitch. Enter. And then select. Oopsie. Alright, so then you've got this all stitched together. You can give it a bit of a scaling to whatever shape you want. I think at this point 
need to consider your side view that you probably want to be scaling down these edges a little bit or these faces a little bit thinner than the rest of the object right and we may want to be deleting this center edge loop so I'm going to grab uh, I'm going to grab the edge loop all right so let's go to edge mode let's grab that edge loop uh, do I want to do that yes I do uh, 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 you okay and that means we can scale these two edge loops together. So U A U A. So it's showing me that I can grab one. Okay, so let's grab these vertexes. These ones that don't include the top. Now we should have all the top ones. We should have done this before we did the mirror. All right, and we can do a set point again. About there, so that straightens up the top edge. Let's straighten up the bottom edge. So all of these. All right, that's better. Okay, so now we've got a nice even looking face over here. You want to probably look like areas like here where you have a bit of weirdness going on. You'll probably want to straighten up those little areas. So let's do uh, uh, let's do a last um, cleanup. I'm going to go into, uh, I'm gonna, first of all, I'm going to set my uh, gumball back to plane because we want to screw stuff up again. And we're going to go to edge mode and we're going to start moving these guys around to get some smoothness happening in here. Okay, so I'm happier with that now. Outside, there's something really weird going on here. Pull that out like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then we need a little torus on the top of it, and it looked like we had a little setting on the bottom there. So for that one, I'm going to pull out, I guess, a. Uh, Torus on the top here. Something like that. Grab up, see, turn off our filter. Let's bring it inside there like that. And we're going to bring another Taurus. Mm, no, we're not going to. We will grab a Scaling. So we want to start bringing these edges down about here, I imagine. So you. Okay, so these we scale down a bit. Grab oopsie on this edge loop. That edge loop scale. Uh, I'm trying to even out the. Uh, 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 uh. So 
funeral like that's okay. Uh, yeah, it's a bit bumpy. All right, I feel like we're good there. Okay, and we're good to go. You can apply material to that now. Uh, show your customer, remembering that you can always tweak this afterwards. All right, so I'm going to switch off our filters. We're going to look at our properties, our libraries. We're going to set ourselves to a rendered viewport, I guess, over there. Let's set this one back to shaded. And we can start applying some materials. All right, that one's not great. I'll put that one there. And then you've got your little sun pendant. All right. I feel like this looks a little bit flat, so we can go back to our shaded viewport and I'm going to insert another edge in here. Or I'm going to slide this edge forward and or I'm going to delete this edge here to round it up a little bit. So let's have a quick look. That's better. That's better. Much better, Chris. All right, so let's delete that edge as well. There we go. So now we've got that round look we were after. Much happier with that. We have got a little bit of a weirdness going on here now, so let's want to go back into the top view and fix that weirdness up. better. Okay, so, let's see, that's the problem with this stuff. You start feeling like it's not okay in a few places, and then you start tweaking, and then next minute, a half an hour is gone. Um, oh, happy with that. Okay, so, shade it up. And I, oh, right, right. what is going on with like, you know what is going on? Really? All right, so we just leave it in rendered mode for now. Um, and then yes, there's your sun pendant. All right, guys, I'll stick it up on the web, and then you can have a play with that. I will also put the file in the chat as usual.